Welcome to Roland University's Support Tutorials video series. Today's lesson will be Print, Laminate, Cut with GX500 and XJ740 in Roland VersaWorks. We've broken down today's lesson into five parts. Import your file into Roland VersaWorks, print to the Souljet Pro 3, laminate those prints, transfer the file to the cut queue, and output to the GX Cutter. Step 1. Import file into Roland VersaWorks. Based on previous lessons, we'll presume the GX Cutter USB driver is already installed and that it's already installed in VersaWorks as well, as you can see here. To add a file to Roland VersaWorks, it can either be dragged and dropped into the queue or add job to queue under the file menu. We'll be working with our Roland Fish design today. By double clicking on the job, you'll open the job settings window. Here you can change the width of the job you'll be working with. Since we're using the GX500, we'll go with 49 inches today. And change the number of copies. You can also change the orientation, if necessary. Check center on the media. This will help in your print cut alignment. Under the quality tab, select the media you'll be using today. For this lesson, we'll use MCVP. And if you're using the Roland Spot Color Library, under the File Format tab, check Convert to Spot Color. This will make sure that your spot colors in your design are output by VersaWorks correctly. Under the Mark tab, make sure to check Crop Marks for Print Cut Alignment. This will direct the XJ to print crop marks through VersaWorks. When finished making all your settings, click OK to close the window. Step 2. Print to the Souljet Pro 3. When your file is ready, simply click on the Print button. This will automatically rip and print the job to your XJ. The XJ will print crop marks, as you can see, coming out just below the dryer, and it will output your job. Step 3. Laminate Prints. After performing a sheet cut and removing from the printer, you can now place it in your laminator. Hot or cold doesn't matter, but preferably use a laminate with an optically clear adhesive so that the laser can read the crop marks better. And try to leave some margin on the end to make it easier for the printer. Step 4. Transfer file to cut queue. After the job has been rimmed and printed, you'll notice the rip in the job queue. Simply click and drag directly into the cut queue, and now you're ready to cut. Step 5. Output to the GX cutter. To open the job settings tab, double click on the job. You'll open up the cut controls tab. This is very similar to on a print cut device. To zoom in, we'll see that we've placed two cut lines on this design. One, perf cut, with the gray dotted lines around it, which will perform a perforated cut that goes completely through the vinyl and the liner, as shown here. And we also have a cut contour line shown in red. Cut contour line will perform a contour cut that only goes through the vinyl and not through the backing layer as shown here. If a perf cut line is designated you'll notice perf cut controls at the bottom which will allow you to set perf length, pressure, and normal pressure length as well as other cut controls. When finished click OK and click the print button to output. Make sure to line up your crop marks on the cutter protection strip so that the laser can easily read them. The laser will begin on the lower right side just as it does on our print cut devices. 
Once it finds the first crop mark, it will immediately proceed to the lower left. The upper right. and the upper left. If it happens to miss a crop mark, it will make three passes in order to find it again. And once it has all four crop marks loaded into memory, it will then return to the first mark before it begins cutting. And you're done. Thank you for joining us today. For more information, please visit our website or call our 800 number.